All right, welcome back to the garage. Also, I'm gonna have to say sorry about the uh, noise. The neighbors are drying corn. Not much I can do about that here. But today we're gonna get along with this 1953 John Deere 40. Um, tried getting new rear, with a rear, rear wheel swapped on different rims and everything so I could move it. This is one of the rims. This is the one I knew needed replaced. So I already had one spare rim, but uh, that's on. And I thought the other one was good until they started cleaning it and everything. And then we learned that uh, it's not as good as what met the eye originally. Just all through there, there's cracks, all kinds of corrosion and junk in here, holes, everything. So what I'm doing now is I'm finding another rim for this thing. <coughs> This thing has not run in a little while. Obviously, it's been sitting here. Um, I know I had it running really good a few years ago. Uh, there's actually a video, I think, on me doing the starter in this. I believe I put a new key switch in it. The steering wheel has not fared well being outside, and it's loose. Uh, there's a bunch of wasps in it, so that's cool. I think I put gas in it about five months ago. I was gonna try to get it running, battery was dead. So I took the battery, it's on the tender at home. It's been on the tender at home for that long, so. Battery should be pretty well charged. Um, I know the oil level's way high. I'm assuming there's gas in it. Uh, the rear end always has leaked. Hydraulic oil out, in case you can't tell. And uh, other than that, she's not too bad. Uh, if I had a battery, I'd probably try starting right now. I don't know how the fuel in the carb looks. Let's go ahead and see. It doesn't really want to move. There we go. Ooh, that's not what you like to see. It's almost like it might have... I really don't know what that is. Stuff should be coming out of there already because it's opened up all the way. Make sure she's getting the fuel to it. I know there is fuel in the tank. Now, it's not to say that a mud dauber or something didn't make a nest up in there, or that the uh, needle and seat aren't stuck. But, uh, yeah, whatever that black matter is, it can't be good. So. I'm going to do more to this thing than I had originally hoped. I was hoping to get tires on it, fuel it, see what it does. But that carb's not look good. I know I did rebuild that carb probably three or four years ago. So I know it has not been sitting all dirty for too long at least. This thing has been outside for probably at least two or three years. So I know the coolant's low, so I was going to top that off. And... Uh, to end today, I was at least going to spray this thing for wasps. There's been a lot on it I've seen when I was out here last week taking the tires off. So, I'm gonna fill it with coolant, spray wasps, and then we'll get back to this. So it's been a few days since I uh, have been out here. It's actually now deer season. I have my case right there for my bow. I actually shot one this morning and decided I better come do this so I'll let him go lay down. But. Uh, I'm not going to try to uh, time lapse anything with this tractor because A, bin noise is too loud and I don't know how to put music into something yet. So that would just be probably the most drowning noise in the whole world while I'd be doing that. And B, I have nothing out here to set a camera on. And basically all I'm gonna do now is throw the battery in it, add fuel, drain the carb, which I'll probably show you draining the carb so you can see what grossnesses come out and uh, hope it fires. So, I can tell I just got the tire on. I forgot the jack stands under there too. That's what this thing's been sitting on. I had the old rim on here so that if it happened to fall, it wouldn't be on the ground and I could still get my jack underneath it. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna get the battery in, add fuel, let's see what happens. Well, I got the uh, battery in. Had a little bit of issue with the negative cable because it's a uh, positive ground and uh had to get that cleaned up and i got some fuel in it let's see what nasties want to come out so far nothing's coming out which is not really a positive oh no 
know what that black looking stuff is, but that is not what I want to see. I wonder if I don't think I have anything to shove up in there. Yeah, that's plugged. Knife might not work. Let me try to go find a small screwdriver. So I went ahead and did a little bit extra off camera as well. I had to clean the uh, points. I got the decode hooked up, turned it over. Still nothing. So clean up the points a little bit. Let's see. I don't remember which way it gives it throttle and which way it doesn't. It looks like a happy medium. Sounds almost like it wants it. I really don't like how that was turning good, but now it's turning hard. I don't know what's going on in there, but I'm not crazy about it. Um, let's get this guy off. If I can, if I can find myself some screwdrivers, which I should have more around me, but I brought a very limited amount of tools hoping this thing would fire right off. This has always been a very, very good, reliable tractor for me, but obviously it has sat. So, so my hope is to get this guy off, spray it right down its actual throat, and not just in through the air cleaner. And then, uh, hopefully, it will want to run then. Oh god, this thing is a stiff old uh, chunk of hose, let me tell you. I'm going to turn this off. I got it to open. I got that hose off, and man, it was just straight water. Uh, ends up white. I'm gonna take the batteries off. I'm gonna take off the 40 real quick or the track real quick, so I don't burn up my battery. But yeah, I don't know how water got in here, but it did, and that is uh, still feeling like that's yeah, starting to smell a little more like gas. So fuel's getting there. Still, it wouldn't pop off with the uh, brake clean, which is slightly concerning. This car probably needs completely gone through, but I shall see if she'll run today or not for me. But I'm happy at least now. I know I got all that water out of there. So, hey, that's one small victory. A couple of small victories will lead to a win real quick. Now let's see, once she's getting fuel now, if it wants to run. Choke off. Ooh -hoo. Yeah, I need to totally go through this carb. There's no sense in me even messing with it right now and flooding it up or screwing up anything, so. The uh, 40 Saga will continue. Well, we've got a slight change of scenery now. Um, I was actually at this thing, I was actually able to get this thing to run somewhat. Good enough to get on a trailer, good enough to get here. Ignore, like, that spot I topped off the coolant. It got warm, it put the rest out of the uh, overflow. And ignore all that, it had uh, not enough hydraulic oil in it to lift the three point. So I told myself when I put this here, one more thing for me to trip over, and I did it. And uh, it wouldn't lift up to three point, so I topped that off. Three point now works like it's supposed to. It's always had a small leak there. I really don't know where, but it's always lost hydraulic oil. My only thought is whatever seals around the PTO could be the only place because. Well, the whole back of this thing's covered. It could even be that whole back piece back there that has silicone around it. I mean, someone's been in there once doing something, and they didn't do a good enough job of silicone in it. I really don't know. But uh, that's one of those uh, not-today issues. Today, 
So obviously, back to the carburetor. Or still with the carburetor, I guess. I never really like. Feels like a whole different video, even though it's not. Um, now I have this thing in a place I can actually work on it. It's been raining a lot recently, so it's kind of been a pain to get to this. Out where it was, that's why I made it run. Got it here. Now I can rip the carb off and uh, have a kit already here somewhere. I think maybe it's in the truck. But nonetheless, I can get back to this. And I have help over there sniffing my trash. So... That's a plus. One more thing that will definitely not be a distraction. Um, I would have probably shot a video the day that I did get this thing running, but I have family with me and it just, I didn't, I don't care that much. I mean, it, it's not really the good grand reveal it's running thing anyways. So, <clears throat> sorry if you're really looking forward to the first time it starts in like a year or so. But it still, it's running about as terrible as it was, so. Now I'm going to get that carb off and get back to it. So originally this was going to be a time lapse, but I think we're just going to hop into it because it's only been about a minute. But, uh, that's all, uh, that's all grody's in there. So, I think I'm going to be able to bring her back, but this guy's going to take some cleaning. Make sure the float still floats, because I don't have an extra float. I have about everything else, not a float. And I'm getting a blood blister, and I whacked it, so that was nice. Um, yeah, I think I will actually put this thing on time lapse now. And we'll get to tearing it down and cleaning it up, because this is bad. Bad news, bears and a half. I expected bad, but even when I first took off the exhaust side and I saw that, I'm like, this is just not good. Luckily, everything moves freely like it should. 
I think this guy comes out, doesn't he? Yeah. So, that gasket's kind of holding me up. It's not like stuff is frozen in there too bad. This is one time I wish I had an ultrasonic cleaner. But, I don't. So, per usual, do what I can with what I got and make the best of it. So, let's get a time lapse going and actually ooh, dive into this old girl. So, a couple things here. For one, let me tell you, that carburetor was like an ogre. It just had layers of stuff in there. So, I'm probably going to get scrutinized on me using a small scraper and a screwdriver to pretty well scrape everything out. There is the big chunks, pretty much our gasket material. But like a lot of this stuff like this is just slimy junk that was in there. I'm honestly pretty surprised this tractor did run. It drove itself in here. Um, <laughs> I, I, I knew it was going to be bad. I didn't expect that bad. Um, I also still have the boot off because I'm going to go ahead and clean out the uh, oil air cleaner while I'm in here. Um, but I guess it is time to see if I've screwed up or not. Um, I actually haven't even put on the choke yet to make sure I have full range of motion there. Pull it out. It is closed, push it in, it is open, throttle seems to move all the way, so that's a plus, gas I just turned on, and I guess let's make sure she's out of gear, turn that on, choke it most of the way, see if this old girl wants to run, I have not done any, uh, obviously this is a cold start, haven't done any tuning, um, should run at least better. Assuming I didn't screw up, let's see. Also, one thing I did off camera, as well as I did blow everything out, make sure the orifices were actually clean and did allow stuff to pass through. Then I resprayed it down with the brake clean. Obviously, made sure the gasket surfaces were clean. And you watch me tighten stuff up. I have done this stuff enough. I know where torque roughly is, so. Don't try to scrutinize, uh, crucify me for that. So let's see what she wants to do now. Switch is on. I feel like I'm smelling gas. Let's turn 
and choke off, I guess. Make sure that's all open like it should be, and it is. Let's give a little bit of a boost. See if it wants to fire. If I'm missing spark again. This thing has an intermittent spark issue that likes to come up, I've learned. I'm going to fully choke it and give a middle gas. And I guess let's go back checking spark. Well, I hate to say it, but we missed the first start. Um, when I was checking for spark, it decided it wanted to run. So let's see if she wants to pop back off. I need to, uh, it's choked a little still. It's pretty cold out. Yep, I didn't run it very long. Kidding me. <laughs> Wanted to go. Give me a second here. I'm gonna choke it off better. I think it needs that tube to help choke it off and it doesn't have that on it, obviously. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna be a choke. <laughs> But uh, she runs. I think it's got it's got an electronic issue. I'm assuming plugs need replaced because I honestly don't know if I've ever replaced them. As you can tell, when it started there, it was only hitting on one cylinder, and then it was real loaded up. That's because I'd put my hand over it to cause that as the real choke. Because I don't have the piping on there, which I think would help with it starting. But uh, yeah. Runs, carb isn't leaking. I uh, definitely need some more fine tuning to get that easy start and low idle. Uh, that is definitely something I will be doing. However, I'd hurry up to get this video done so I because I'm going to Florida. I want to get something out before I go, and I'm leaving basically tomorrow. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's probably going to be it for the 40 at least for now. Um, so I'm going to do some more fine tuning on it in my own time 
uh, I just remember when, yeah, basically an old start, old startup. Haven't heard that saying in a long time. And uh, there's other things here that are hinting towards other projects that are going to be coming up. But basically, winter's coming. I need this out. I need those out. That'll stay. Spare parts will probably stay. So, uh, yeah. Basically, things are finally happening. Um, we'll see this project soon-ish, I hope. And uh, then we will probably have the Ford 960 in here so I can try to get brakes on it so I can keep it here as my plow tractor. And, uh, yeah. It's probably made for the 40 for at least a little bit. So, thanks for watching. I feel as though this is the... Worst tech type video I think I've made in a long time. <laughs> but, uh... It happens sometimes. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of things I know I did... That were incorrect, however, did work in this video with the way I cleaned the car and the way I took care of a few other things and how I choked it off with my hand. Never do that. Very dangerous. Black, a backfire will blow off your fingers. Don't play that game. I knew the risk I was taking, though, so I did it. So, uh, yeah. Get this thing out one of these days. Run it. Get it hot. Get whatever corrosion and crap is built up on the valves cleaned off. And, uh basically go from there so uh thanks for watching till next time so i actually decided not to end the video there um did go through that oil to air cleaner she was plumb full and i'm not sure what all was in there but it was definitely some oil that tried to coagulate with some water and leave a whole bunch of sludgy looking junk at the bottom so i'm pretty happy that i left that off because Man, that could have just ruined the whole car, but it's got done cleaning. I did a little bit of tunage. We're not quite right where I wanted to be yet, but she ought to pop off. Oh no, did my... Something just shorted. Oh, bad battery connection. Yeah, that end needs replaced pretty horribly, but I'm sure that's where the issue is for sure. It's just about there. Another thing to add to the list, uh, new battery end. I knew that one was bad and I actually kind of forgot about it. That was one of the things I originally battled with this tractor. It's getting that end right. But uh, she runs a whole lot better now that I've actually got that all assembled correctly. And uh, basically everything is correct now. Um, so I'm still gonna say tech tips in this were not the best. Uh, tuning is not exactly where I want it, but it's it's, close i like a touch lower idle when i get it down there but the downside when you do that is then you've really got to watch your oil pressure i can read that gauge even though from here it doesn't look like it but if you get it too low of an idle then that that uh, oil pressure really starts to get down there and that that's one of the concerns that i could have with it assuming someone else would be running it me knowing this tractor knows not to do that um so now i guess to add on to my list is Spark plugs, um, battery connection, oil change. Then she's ready to go back to the farm. So for real this time, thanks for watching and uh, have a good one.